Hi everybody, this is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes and Cardio.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to lay out photos for a edible printing demonstration. And what we've been talking about previously in a, in a video before this is the hardware that you need for edible printing and the icing sheets and the edible ink. So make sure you check that out. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to lay out um, images in Adobe Photoshop and I'm going to be showing you some online software which is called iPrint and II Designs which can be found at icingimages.com. We're going to be putting all of these videos together for a third cumulative one and it's going to be we're going to make a, a butterfly cake with all of the printing that we've been doing. So check out the whole series and stay tuned and join us for this one where I show you how to lay everything out. To create the designs that we later print onto icing sheets, we usually use Adobe Photoshop. Before you begin with your image layout, you need to know which size of icing sheet you're going to be printing onto. Typically you'll find that they're either letter, which is 8.5 by 11 inches, or legal, which is 8.5 by 14 inches. So if you go into this image tab here and you click on image size, you can change your dimension, the document size here, or you can also do it when you're creating your your dock during the setup. Um, what I also want you to notice here is that the resolution is set to 240 pixels per square inch and you want it to be that or higher because anything lower will create an image that is very pixelated so you want to make sure it's around there. Um, so I'm just going to get out of here and in the future in a future video we're going to be doing a butterfly cake like I explained in the intro. So I'm going to be making 3D butterflies and what I've done to lay this out is I've just taken one butterfly and I I've cloned it 11 times and then laid it out on my 8.5 by 11 sheet and I've left a quarter inch margin all the way around. If you don't have Photoshop or a similar program, next I'm going to show you some of the online software from Icing Images that you can use to do this. So this is Icing Images website and you can find them at icingimages.com and they provide um, edible printing and paper art supplies and what you've been seeing in the videos we've been filming are we're using their icing sheets and we've been using their edible inks. Um, what I want to show you here is their online printing software. So this first one here is called iPrint just on the left hand side here and what it allows you to do is to upload your own image. Then once your image is uploaded you can use any of these shapes to shape it into, you can put frames around them as you see here, and you can even add text onto your image. But what I want to show you now is their II designs. Now this is really neat because what it has is all sorts of different patterns. Now you can sort patterns by colors, um, flowers, I'm going to pick on this birthday one here, there's lots of different holiday ones here. And I'll just show you quickly some of these ones that they have here. They've got some balloons that you could sh you could print out. They have little cupcakes. And let's see what else we've got. Happy birthday messages. Now down here, you, I have my height set at four and a half. But if you want to have a larger print, you would just make um, your size larger and then the words get bigger. And if you want it to be a little bit smaller, you would just make it smaller like that. Now I'm going to put it back to four and a half for the demo. And if you want to add cut lines in, they've got vertical and they have horizontal ones. And you can also rotate the image 90 degrees and you can extend the tile. So I'm going to bring it back to my butterfly one because that's the cake I'm going to be showing you and it's under my favorites. And the what I would do next would be to print it but first I'm going to show you how to set up your printer. So let's do that now. When you're ready to print you want to set up your printer and you'll just hit this print button at the bottom. And then from here you want to make sure that you have selected your printer that you are going to be using. And then you're going to go into properties. Once you're in properties you're going to go over to maintenance and you're going to go down to custom settings. In the custom settings window you want to make sure that prevent paper abrasion has been selected. Apply those settings to your printer. Now I'm going to go to quick setup and I'm going to go to borderless printing right here, make sure that is ticked and I'm going to change my paper to matte photo paper. 
Click OK. Now right here I'm going to make sure that it is the right size of paper, 8.5 by 11. And my paper source, I'm going to be loading it from into the rear tray. And now I'm going to go up to Page Setup and I'm going to make sure that my amount of extension is all the way over on the left hand side. So I've made all of these changes, I'm going to click OK. And now my printer is ready to go. I want you to be able to see what it's printing out, so I'm going to get out of this screen and I'm going to zoom in on the printer for you. So I've loaded the icing sheet in the rear tray and I'm just going to press print on my printer. So we finished printing our edible image that we printed off of II Designs patterns. And if you want to find more about icing images and their paid subscription for iPrint, iDesign, you can visit their website at icingimages.com. And remember in the next video we're going to be making a butterfly cake and we're going to be using the icing sheets that you saw printed here and the butterflies that you saw me lay out in uh, Photoshop and I'm going to be making those into 3D. So make sure you tune in for our next video in this series. So thanks for watching everybody. Remember to subscribe to our channel. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook and Google+.